To protect themselves against the coronavirus, many people are choosing to avoid flying. The Taoyuan airport has seen a drastic drop in passenger numbers, from an average of 120,000 a day to just 60,000. Business owners who rely on the airport hope the government will give them a break so they can weather the crisis. Taoyuan Airport. The departure board flashes with cancelled, cancelled and cancelled. No one wants to fly in the shadow of the virus. The airport is eerily empty. It's had a massive impact on all the business operators in the airport. It's even worse than SARS in 2003. Passenger numbers are down by 50 or 60 percent, but a revenue is down by 70 or even 75 percent. Daily passenger numbers have halved from 120,000 to just 60,000. Many foreign-owned concessions are considering pulling out. This Japanese restaurant is one of the hardest hit. It got a 13 million NT refit in December and opened just before the outbreak took off. It will close down in April. We're in a tough place now because with sales falling and also a rather risky work environment, some of our business partners, including U.S. and Japanese brands, are starting to pull out. It's becoming an avalanche. And we might be facing rows of empty concessions. That's our biggest fear. And that avalanche is hitting the taxi rank outside the airport, too. Our income has halved. I only get one customer in seven hours. The drop in flight passengers is a blow to all the businesses associated with the airport, from restaurants and duty-free shops to cargo haulers. Those affected are hoping the government will step in to help so that they can keep their businesses afloat.